buy or sell, Sanko, we're going to start with you. What's a Wawa? Everybody in Philly is like, what a Wawa is? Oh, boy. We just opened up a can of worms. You don't know what a Wawa is? It's like a 7-Eleven on steroids. Yeah, it's like the greatest invention. That's exactly how I describe it, Dan. Is it really? Yes. Like Quick Trip. You are right. No, 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 it's Have not you like, been to a quick trip? It's not like quick trip. Midwest no, it's no, yeah, no. Twitter, Wawa, Twitter, Wawa, 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 Wawa has like a restaurant. It's like a restaurant. You can sit down and eat there. Yeah. Like, you, it's just like with first no tables. It's, it's like first day You just, you just eat on top of the trash cans, naturally. Yes. Anyway. Right. Where are you guys from? <laughs> All right. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, put in your car. We'll talk about Wawa for, for two minutes. Uh, buy or sell. Marvin Vittori has evolved more than Izzy since their first meeting. I buy that, actually. Um, I think the, the changes that Marvin has made in his game are, as he put it, more noticeable. I think his cardio is tons better than when we first saw him in the UFC and first saw his fight with Israel. But I think more than anything, the wrestling, I mean, the fight that he had against Kevin Holland, he's proven that he can grind out a fight if he needs to. I buy it as well. I think that um, and all those things are great, but I think his temperament has improved. Like, he shows all that aggression and intensity before, but during the fight, he's still able to control himself. Yeah. Bye. I agree. I think that uh, just the composure and everything and how handling and being in there, having this many fights at that kind of round, that, that's very important. He's got that kind of experience under his belt now. Uh, Israel Adesanya, by the way, makes weight, comes in a little bit under, going to be joining us here on the UFC 263 weigh-in show uh, in about 10 minutes. Nice. Speaking of Izzy, last time we saw him was against uh, Jan Bohovic. Moving up a weight class uh, against a bigger man, is that was that his biggest issue, or did you see a hole in his game that was actually exposed here a bit? I genuinely think that the weight is the biggest part of that pie chart, so to speak. I'm not saying it's the entire pie chart, but I think the weight was the biggest part of that pie chart because of what I said earlier, he has faced really competent wrestlers before. He's done great, but you know, to Dean's point, he did struggle on the bottom. But I do think 205 was the difference for me. No, I don't think so. I think that um, Blahovich played it smart and shot when he, right to, when, he, when he needed to. And most of the times, he's able to defend desperate shots, but not great shots. And Blahovich had great shots against him. So I think that um, the weight wasn't the biggest issue. I think it was the tactics that he used. Yeah, I'm with Dean. I don't think it was the issue. But I'm also going to cop out a little bit here and explain why I think it was a little bit an issue. I think that the, the issue for Izzy was when your hips get put down and secured there, you show a problem of getting up there from people that are competent on top of you, right? Because before, I feel like he never let himself get fully to that position, whereas Jan Bohovic was able to do that. Because so. he was the same size guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See that? <laughs> but then I say he was able to hold him there a little bit. Yes, because yeah. I think maybe the, the weight size. was a bit of an issue, but I think there's also still a little hole. I, listen, it's really small. It's like you get a tear in your shirt, you go sew it up. Yeah, it's fixable. It. Maybe a pit. Wrapping me, okay? Over under for takedowns for Marvin Vittori. Two and a half. Under. Under. I think that Israel Adesanya, anytime you take a loss, you learn from that loss. And he's the type of guy who I think went back and, and you know, obsessively worked on his takedown defense. I, I think he might will get a takedown, or Marvin will get a takedown, but I don't think it'll be over two and a half. I'm going over. That's a tough line. But I'm going over we because I think right. once, you, once you get over two, it's easier to get him down. Mm. Uh, you, I can't do can't it. answer. Paul can't answer. Okay. Uh, Is he DC he's, now? No, he's calling the fight. Calling the fight. You can't predict takedowns? Yeah, but yeah, I guess talking about the odds is kind of alluding to who I think would win the fight. If I say, yes, I like those odds versus this or that, come on, I can't give it with all right, so the, 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 produce, the producers night. gave him an easy out. He can't yeah, answer they, this they, one either. They took me out of it. Show. I didn't take myself out of it. They Whoever took me out of it. Whoever sits in that seat gets the I almost took you out. Remember the last time we sat next to each other? I almost took yeah, you out you of did. going took to, me out with COVID to almost, Yeah, I almost took yeah. you out of COVID. <laughs> Jeez, what my God. There? Oh, so we flew on the plane together to come to. And we were so happy. Yeah, we were so happy. We yo, what's going on, man? How you doing? And then, yeah, so. Come to find out, Is I this had a COVID. the plane to fight island. Yeah, yeah no, not even no. to fight island. We never to even Vegas. got there. We didn't get Vegas. there. So when we got to Vegas, we tested for COVID, and I ended up being positive. And then they they were like, "Did you sit?" And next? I was negative. Yeah, they, they were like, "Did like, you sit next to anybody?" I was like, "Yeah, Paul Felder." <gasps> yeah. Dean. Yeah. Threw me under Dean. the bus. And then they said everything. But that's what he should right do. That that's what he should do. That's what you guys should. And do. then they said everything was cool. But then I told them I was licking his seat, and then they said no. Yeah, they that was that was weird. And then you licked it after. Then they said he can't go because I licked his seat. 
know, expected? yeah. <laughs> we were checking yay. to That's see weird. if he had bad breath or yeah. not. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. Were you guys like cuddling, watching yeah, the movie cuddling, on the plane yeah. under a blanket? No, 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 no. I told we, we, were, sharing, hold, we were sharing we masks hands. at the same time. Because you got yeah. nervous when you thought you saw something on the wing of the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told you it's just all those things you were taking before you got on the plane that were messing with your mind. Yeah. Yeah, I told you not to take that. But eventually he did get to go to to a fight island. Yeah, I had to walk there, but I got there. I remember that. A while. That's where the yeah. triathlon training started. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Talk about All right, we have uh, we have question number four, which by the way you can't answer. That was a great story, guys. <laughs> I knew I knew there was a special thing, yeah, a special we, bond. Yeah, there. We have a yeah, bond. We're yeah. beyond just spit. co-workers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. The last time they fought, I'm talking about Figueredo Moreno. They set uh, a record mm. for a five-round fight: 259 significant strikes. Do you think that this time, if there is a finish? It's going to be a sub or a knockout? Mm. I think it's going to be a knockout. I think it's going to be a knockout. Okay. And I actually think both guys are capable of it. Mm. I genuinely do. Dean? I'm going sub. I think if there is a finish, it's going to be a sub. Okay. I think... You can't answer. <laughs> Look almost at the funny guy over there. You. We almost yeah. got you. People are ready to tweet about you. it. <laughs> we, Paul, he, we he, almost got you. He almost got you. Yep. He okay, I got another he one. Fact, fact or him. fiction? Uh, with an impressive win by Nate or Leon, they can jump the line for a welterweight title shot. We keep talking about this, but Dana has emphatically said Colby Covington is next. I don't, I mean, I, I understand it would make sense, but he keeps saying it and saying it and saying it. So I'm, I'm saying fiction. Because Dana has never said never something in never, <laughs> that didn't go the other way. <laughs> Absolutely. If the, the winner of this fight will get the title shot, especially if it's an impressive win. If Leon Edwards goes out there and knocks him out, they're going to book that fight as soon as uh, Kamar Usman is ready. And if Nate Diaz does it, they'll book it whenever Nate is ready. So, like, it's, the winner of this is getting a title shot if it's impressive. Yeah, I think the fact. But... Um... Especially for Leon, right? If he goes out there, yeah. like you said, and he does something impressive, I mean, that just sets you up. It's a rematch already. Uh, Kamaro, I think, wants it. I think he's trying to avoid that Covington thing because he's been there, he's done that, and he's probably not as interested and as hyped about that. But it was such a fantastic fight. Of course it was. And but Dana he's, talks all the time about like five years ago. I think as a champion, though, you want, and... you want something fresh, right? If you're a guy like Kamaro who's beaten so many guys. But I guess Leon's not fresh either then, technically. So you're right. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. I am right. I can admit I can admit when I'm <laughs> wrong like 3% of the time. 